Hi, I am Paula Casera. I am the owner of White Barn Farm Sheep and Wool. The base of the Shawangunk Mountains, it's so beautiful here. Uh, fell in love with the farm and um, just had to make it mine and this is my vision. It's a fiber farm. I raise sheep. Uh, we have lambing season. Before lambing season we shear the sheep. The reason we do that and we specifically uh, shear the ewes, the reason we do that is because as the hormones are released in order to give birth, the fiber like our own hair, a lot of you women will know this, you know, changes and um, I want to have the highest quality fiber possible. So we shear, um, I, we skirt it, we go through the process of picking out all the you know, vegetable matter, the dirt, the you know, yucky parts. And then the rest of it, then I work with a mill in Sar near Saratoga and uh, we, uh, I work with them and they continue sorting through it. They put it through their carters and we mill it to the specification that I want. And in most cases, people like to knit something that's soft. They like to knit something that doesn't, isn't going to take them a super long time. So I make, a, generally speaking, a medium weight, medium weight yarn. So after a few months, um, it takes a while. It takes a while for a small mill to work their way through all the fiber that's coming in. And um, I bring it up there in May, usually, um, April, May. And I usually don't get it back until late August, early September. And when I do get it back, then the dyeing starts to happen. I just go into full gear. Uh, I choose a palette that I want to use for the season um, and uh, start dyeing. This has some variation in it. I particularly like to dye in this style because I like to see a solid-ish color with some variation in it. I don't like to dye like super multicolors. It's not my thing. Other people do that really well. I tend to, you know, do this. This is from my yarn. Um, this is a little special to me because this was something I was trying um, that was new. It's meant to mimic hand spun yarn, which we also do here. Um, I hand dyed two separate singles and then had them plied together, which is essentially how it works when you're hand spinning. You'll spin out one set of singles and another set of singles, and then you put them together. And um, this was a pattern by a woman named Isabel Kramer, and she's from Germany. And this is the thing about the knitting world today is that it's completely connected. And one of the things that connects it is the internet. And one of the things on the internet that connects it is Ravelry. And it's a website, it's free, and it's visited by millions of people around the world that work with fiber. The fiber world has so much momentum behind it right now, and I'm just really excited to be part of that. I try to make things beautiful and make it so that other people who are interested in fiber in the Hudson Valley have a place to go. And um, yeah, it's lambing season now and we're super busy.